a big void in Silicon Valley tonight after a prominent tech executive died while on vacation in Mexico. Nightbeat's Betty Yu on the new details we're learning tonight. Betty? Liz, Dave Goldberg was the CEO of SurveyMonkey here behind me in Palo Alto. It's an online survey company. Much has been said about what a great leader, what a great family man Dave was, but not a whole lot has been said about the circumstances surrounding his death until today. Morning, Dave. Good morning. Dave Goldberg was a popular Silicon Valley entrepreneur and husband of Facebook's chief operating officer, Sheryl Sandberg. The family says they were on vacation at the Four Seasons Resort in Punta Mita when he suddenly collapsed Friday afternoon. His brother found him by a treadmill in a pool of blood with a gash in the back of his head. A Mexican state official says he apparently fell and hit the machine. Paramedics could not save him. In the days following the 47-year-old's death, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg called him an amazing person. Dave's brother Robert asked people to celebrate his life by posting memories on his Facebook page. His wife often spoke about her biggest supporter and about finding the right partner. But the most important career decision you're going to make is whether or not you have a life partner and who that partner is. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff was a friend. For me personally, what I saw was an incredible human being that showed me what it was like to be a father, what it was like to be a husband, what it was like to be a friend, but also what it was like to be a successful CEO. Well, we should note that there is no criminal investigation, and tomorrow there will be an invite-only memorial for him at Stanford. The men have been asked to go tieless because Dave was known for his hatred of wearing ties. Also, interestingly, uh, people have asked uh, people not to post to social media or take pictures mm. out of respect for the family. Liz? Yeah, it sounds like he was a really special person, Betty. Any word from the hotel tonight? You know, the hotel actually released a statement uh, saying that Dave was not registered as a guest on the mm -hmm. property. And they also said this incident did not take place there. So, you know, essentially contradicting what the Mexican state official had said. Hopefully we'll be able to sort mm -hmm. this out in the coming days. All right, Betty. Thank you.